first experience with the foundation, my first exposure was through the medical director. I saw him presenting and he said a statistic that blew me away. He said that the LA Fire Department was the largest provider of medical services in the city of LA. I didn't know that. And it made me look at the fire department very differently. You know, I always thought firefighters and police officers and those that were funding publicly had everything they needed. It was shocking for me to find out that the gloves that they use are sometimes years old and really third or fourth generation behind what's available to keep them safe. And that was surprising to me. And so the opportunity to help support and protect them and give them gear and things that is not in the budget that we can help them with brings me a great deal of joy. I feel that there's if there's any way we can support them in even small ways, it makes a big difference, whether it's a ice machine at the firehouse so they can have a cold you know, soda. If it's you know something to make them feel more valued because they're the ones who we trust and they're the ones we want to help who help us. The greatest reward, I will say, in my job is when I look at the LA Fire Department, when no one else comes, they come. When the budgets are gone for everything else, you call 911 and someone you love is on the floor, they're there. When nobody else is there, no matter how much the budgets are cut, regardless of what else is going around, the firefighters and the medics within the fire department show up. And to me, supporting the people who do that every day is huge. And it makes me smile. I just have to thank Whittier Trust for supporting me and supporting our clients in their philanthropic endeavors. There are very few financial institutions that spend as much time as Whittier Trust does supporting their clients as it comes to philanthropy. I'm so proud to have received this award, but more importantly, I'm really excited about the future.